Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is The Coaches. Coach. With George Strachillis and... Eric Lucis. Right on, we're back. Now, this is the end of week three of Eric's little project. And when I say little project, it's a pretty major project, $20,000 plus labor and a lot of things to do. And four, I believe you have four phases, Eric. So this is good. Now, assuming I'm the superintendent coming in to visit the, the foreman, which is uh, Eric Lucis, what questions would I ask? That's the first step. And I just finished organizing some questions for a client of mine. And I always start with the values, the company values, like, hey, how are you? You know, you get to know somebody, you say hello, you ease into it. A lot of people respect. And what is the challenge for people? And that's a challenge. So Eric, can you share firstly, what your challenge is and what are you trying to accomplish? We're trying to get a nice extra bedroom in this house and we're trying to get it ready in time for some guests coming in a few months we're also trying to get the rest of the uh the basement uh upgraded with the kitchen the bathroom and the accent wall and what's the hard date on this we've got a uh, a hard date of three months definitely three months it's 1200 square feet of work um our plan is telling us three months right now and we uh working through our long lead items we should be fine with that duration. Nice. The next thing I think about is how do we build in scientific thinking into our project? Now I'm going to show you a book. I just received it. Haven't read it yet, but it's the Toyota way, uh, second edition. And so Jeff will be happy. I picked my copy up and, um, uh, in the process, the model has changed. It was a 4P model. Now in the middle of it is scientific thinking. So let's talk a little bit about what that is. Scientific thinking has four steps, basically the plan, the do, the check and the act or adjust and scientific thinking can have many different loops. And what I mean by loops is it could go three months out. So at the end of this project, Eric and I will do a PDCA loop for the entire project. What went well for the project and what could we do better if we were to do it again next time? That's a PDCA loop for the whole project. We can go by month. What we're doing right now is going by week, but very effective would be if somebody were to say, list all the activities of their day, plan their day out and say at noon, look at what their plan was and what they did get accomplished and look at the gap and figure out what the countermeasure would be for next time in production. We do it on an hour by hour basis in construction. It's a week by week basis. So you can see there's different PDCA cycles. So let's start with the scientific thinking. Thank you, George. Thank you, Eric. And this is the coaches coach with George Strachillis and Eric Lucis. See you next time. Okay. This is the uh, coaches coach. Sorry. Let's do it again. <laughs>